Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews. In today's video, we're talking about the current state of the iOS 11.1.2 jailbreak and iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak as this week we had a lot of things happening we had tools released and we're gonna talk all about that and also about the news that we have on the substrate and Cydia update so let's go ahead and get into it and first of all let's talk about the tools that have been released during this week so there has been a new tool released for ios 10.3.3 and it's called goblin and this will work on all 64-bit devices except the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus, of course, because this method uses the KPP bypass that was used on Yalu 10.2, so it won't support the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus, but other 64-bit devices. And using that method, the K KPP bypass from Yalu, this means that Substrate and of course Cydia will work on these devices jailbroken with this tool so that's a great news and we have another tool released this one is called meridian and this will work on all 64-bit devices on ios 10.3.3 and lower so this is great news so you can have also a jailbreak on the iphone 7 or 7 plus on 10.3.3 but currently it doesn't have substrate as it's still being updated by Soric. So these two new tools have been released during this week. So we have one for 64-bit devices, iPhone 6s and lower on 10.3.3 and Meridian here supporting all 64-bit devices on iOS 10.3.3 and lower. So right now the tools that I see are more serious and that we should keep an eye on are this one Meridian for iOS 10.3.3 and lower on all 64-bit devices and Liber iOS for iOS 11.1.2 on all 64-bit devices. Both of these jailbreak tools use the KPP less method so they will have to wait for Substrate and Cydia to be updated to work with that method. So now that we have both of these tools released for iOS 10.3.3 and 11.1.2, the only part we're missing are the updates for Cydia and Substrate. So Sorik yesterday commented on Reddit saying that he is almost done. So you can see the comment right here by Sorik. Let me just zoom in here. So he is almost done with updating Substrate and also Cydia, of course, to work with the KPP less method. And probably we might see these updates come out this upcoming week. So I hope that will happen. And this upcoming week, we should see these updates updates getting released by Soric and then they will just be added into these tools and we can have fully working jailbreaks on iOS 11.1.2 and also iOS 10.3.3 on all 64-bit devices. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just want to give you some information and let you know where are we standing right now in the terms of having these jailbreaks fully working on all our devices and of course having tweaks installed on our devices so that's it go ahead and subscribe for more info also don't forget to follow me on my social media you will find all the links in the description of the video